Alright, so I haven't really talked about Batman Arkham Knight. Well, actually, I kind of did with my good friend uh, Sid Bart too. We did a Geeky Gentleman video when the first trailer hit, and we talked about that. But now there's been a few more trailers that have come out, and I feel like I want to talk about it more. Um, now, most of you guys know that I absolutely love the Arkham series. I think this is not only some of the best video games, uh, uh, some of the best video games that have come out, but I also think that some of the probably some of the best Batman stories that have ever come out as well. I like to look at, you know, how well these stories are put together, not only just as a video game, but as a Batman story. And I think the... It, I feel like, and maybe it's just me, and honest to God, I'm going to say this right now, I actually like the Arkham universe more than I do the uh, current 50, New 52 universe of Batman. I, I kind of consider this and, and the animated series my ideal version of the Arkham Universe. In fact, really, the Arkham Universe feels like that what the Batman the Batman animated series would have been like if it was more for, geared towards adults and you know young adults and older. I feel like yeah, it's it's the animated series with an adult tone. Obviously, with Paul Dini behind it, you can think that. But no, I think that you know these are these are just great Batman stories. Now, would I say they're like essential Batman story? Like, should they be essential Batman stories? Maybe, maybe not. I, that's I'll leave that up to you guys uh, to decide. But yeah, so I'm going to talk a bit about. I'm going to extend more of my thoughts on Arkham Knight and what I'd like to see from it. Now, from the games, and let me say this: that trailer, that first trailer of Batman, you know, gearing up. Uh, with uh, Thomas Wayne's will going over it, that is some of the, that is one of the best trailers, not just in video games, but trailers, period, I have ever seen. I absolutely love the first trailer for Batman Arkham Knight. But anyway, now, the thing I want to talk about most is that this is going to be Batman, the Arkham Universe's final chapter, and also for Rockstar Games. Now, Rockstar Games, uh, not Rockstar, Rocksteady, have pretty much been saying that, uh, yeah, this is our final chapter, and we, we won't be doing any more Arkham games after this. And I know the game's been, you know, pushed back all the way to June of 2015. My opinion, that's, I'm okay with this. And the reason why is because I feel like they're trying to do so much for the fans. They're trying to put everything in uh, into this last game. I mean, this is going to be a Gotham series that is going to be free roam. You're actually going to be around in Gotham, in the Batmobile, mind you, and I, I think that it's better to wait for it and get a good product than get a half-assed project, in my opinion. I think it's better to wait for a really good project, uh, product to be made rather than get a half-assed one cl uh, closer. Then, you know, I feel like that was one of the things that hurt, uh, you know, the Arkham Origins game. Because the Arkham Origins game felt a little rushed, didn't it? So I feel like that, um, with Arkham Knight, they want to give us the best final chapter to this awesome trilogy. Well, quad, you know, quad G or whatever the fuck that word is, with if you count Arkham Origins. So, I I think that with um, with this game, it, uh, is it's going to be obviously free roam. You get to have the Batmobile, and there's going to be so much in here. This is Batman. What looks like I feel like even more than Dark Knight Rises. This is going to be Batman's final chapter. I mean, this is a, we're going. Batman's probably still dealing with the falling out of the death of the Joker in you know Arkham City. So we have that. We have jo you know Batman probably still reeling from the death of the Joker, and now we have characters like uh, it looks like Scarecrow is the one that's going to be the uh, you know the big end all be all bad guy. And I know my good friend uh, Shades at Night is all about you know his buddy you know his boy Scarecrow being the uh, the. Uh, the great big bad guy at the end of the series. But, <clears throat> yeah, this is all about... In every trailer, it feels like you get the sense that Batman is going to die in this, in this game. You get that sense of Batman is going to die in this game. And that's even more so... You get that feeling more so than... I, I got that feeling more so than I did with uh, Dark Knight Rises. I feel like throughout that entire first trailer and some of the other trailers I've seen... I <laughs> I think that yeah it's vi it's uh it's scary like it's scary to think how like how in depth this uh uh how depth in depth with the whole will of Thomas Wayne a few other trailers we've seen that this could be Batman's final battle among other things we know that uh you know Two-Face and Penguin are, are apparently working together Harley Quinn has completely gone off the ropes 
We also have uh, several other characters in here. There's a few characters I kind of want to see back in here. I know we're going to get some recurring Batman villains, but there's I kind of want. Uh, there's a few I want in particular. I, first off, I want to have Man Bat in this game. I really want Man Bat in this game, as whether a side mission. Uh, like a side quest or like one of the main stories. I really want. I really, really, really want. Uh, <laughs> I really want Man Bat in these games. I really want to know how how Man Bat would look in the Arkham series. I really want. To, I've always wanted to have Man Bat in these games because you know we've got Clayface, we've got Solomon Grundy, we've got Killer Croc. You know all. You know the only monster type villain we really have left to do is uh, Man Bat. Among other things, like, I'd like to see maybe uh, Mad Hatter get another, you know, a bigger game, you know, be a bigger part of the story. I think that'd be really cool. I'd like to also see uh, Clayface come back. I think that'd be really cool. Um, may again, as a, he was a major part in the story in Arkham City, I'd like to see him come back, if at all possible, because, again, he fell into the uh, Lazarus pit and corrupted it and looked like he broke apart. <laughs> so maybe he reformed himself or something like that. Um, or maybe we can get uh, the next, uh, or if they say, oh, Basil Carlo died, and in the time period in between that, Matt Hagen became the new Clayface. So yeah, if they can't use Basil Carlo, just go to Matt Hagen. Uh, in terms of other villains, I know, um, they did, um, in the, one of the side quests, we had Hush. We had Hush, so I think it'd be really cool to see, like, maybe Hush is playing a bigger role, because he's he is, again, a master manipulator, so maybe it makes you think that Scarecrow is the one behind this, but then it turns out that it was Hush the whole time. I think that would be a really cool uh, uh, thing to play with. Also, let's talk a bit about the Arkham Knight itself. Now, that's a character that is being created by Jeff Johns, but some people are saying that maybe it's a character we already seen. A lot of people are saying maybe it's Jason Todd, maybe it's uh, another character. A lot of people are looking at maybe it's Jason Todd. I would like to think that it's Jason Todd, but maybe it is an original character because it looks like this the Arkham Knight is going to be the anti-Batman. He's going to be the, an the major antithesis of Batman, and... Uh, it looks like he's either working for Scare... We don't know if he's working for Scarecrow. We don't know if he's out for himself or if he's working for Hush or somebody else. We don't really know what his goals are, nor do we really know what's going to happen with him. We did see, in one of the recent trailers, we did see him walking up to Batman on the ground, and then we just, it, with a gun pressed to his head, and then it cuts away when we hear the bang. And, the, and that just leaves you with, oh, shit just got real. <laughs> So in that regard, I think that would um, I'm really interested to see what the whole story of the Arkham Knight is. The other thing is that are they going to build up more with the Order of the Saint of Saint Dumas? We had the uh, in one of the side quests of Arkham Knight. We I mean excuse me Arkham City. We had uh, uh, Azrael show up and uh, pretty much saying to Batman, "Look, you'll be the you know it'll be up to you to close the gates of hell." And we're really wondering, is that going to be like a literal hell? Or is it going to be like, uh, you know, is it going to be like Gotham opening up in fire? Because the whole thing is that Scarecrow is just telling everyone, leave the city or face your fears. And it looks like all of Gotham's going to go to hell, in a not literal sense, but in a, you know, in a, figure, in a figurative meaning. So is that what he meant? Or are they just going to say, oh, well, here are demons, fight them. That would be really strange, but this is a very DC Universe thing. Another thing that has been brought up is that there's rumors that no George Newbern has done stuff. You know, apparently George Newbern has done voices for Arkham Knight. So a, people, a lot of people are wondering, is Superman going to show up in a scene? Or is Superman going to be a, you know, a character we see in the game? I think that would be really cool because, um, you know, we have had mentions of, of like Metropolis, Central City, and uh, Coast City, and several other, uh, you know, great cities, you know, even Metropolis. So I think it would be really cool... To see the uh, to see the uh, you know see Superman and Batman finally hang out. I think it would be really cool to see like Superman comes down and tries talking to Superman about the uh, <laughs> he tries talking to Superman about the whole death of Joker and trying to help you know being the, the being the BFF that he is to super uh, to Batman. I think that would be really awesome. Another thing is that they could do... Wouldn't it be crazy if they did the whole Hush thing and had Superman under the control of, like, kryptonite uh, poison toxins created by Poison Ivy and you have to fight Superman like it, like Batman did in Hush? That would be a really cool bo a boss fight. But, yeah, there's also another thing that people have been... There's a rumor of the Court of Owls in here. 
And this again leads me to, wow, they are doing a lot of goddamn things in this game. Um, so yeah, I'm really curious to see, because again, I don't know if the Court of Owls thing is true or not, but I am kind of curious to see where they would exactly go with that, in, in whatever sense of the meaning. So yeah, really looking forward to this game. I know it's still pretty much a year off. And, but yeah, it's better, like I said earlier, it's better to w get a product that's finished and have a really goddamn good game, or, you know, get a half-ass, it's better than getting a half-ass game. So yeah, anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it off with it here. Uh, what do you guys think, what do you think should be in, uh, what do you want from Ar Batman Arkham Knight? Do you want to see, you know, uh, Red Hood, Court of Owls, Man Bat, any of that shit, or something else? So once it, um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this game, can't wait for it to come out. But, you know, I just got to be patient, I guess. Anyway, once again, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm out.